was one point where he got so low with me that on my second visit, um, again, he started a tantrum. Million was my proof. Million, his friend, absolutely didn't prove. Got nothing to lie here. And he had his hair as a tantrum. See Scott McKay. He goes, oh, he's fantasizing about Scott McKay. This is coming from a man who's very insecure. Yeah, to say something like that, that doesn't make you a man. Just because you suddenly, in two months, started earning 25k a month, start thinking you're big, big potatoes. Listen, my father has earned more money than he'll ever see in his life, all right? And if Nick's going to go this way, he's got no real friends, he doesn't know how to maintain them. And you, you work with him, and I've had to train him how to work with you, to be patient with you, to build you up, right? Right. And you know what? He talks to me like that. I'm poor, he's demonic, witch, all of these things. And then now I call him a prostitute lover because he told me. So it's okay. Put this in perspective here, right now, Alessandro. I had to accept that that hot Hungarian girl that he had in his room. And for three weeks before I was, I flew up there. We were all pitching. I can't wait to see you. Right up until. I get to the airport and I could sense something wasn't right because he wasn't responsive and as right. was normally excited. And I'm like, hey baby, you can't wait. And he goes, oh, he doesn't answer me, nothing. I spent, I saved up two and a half thousand dollars, yeah, to put him in that nice hotel. Uh, I did a nice video for him. I did personalized cupcakes with good line on there and loads of presents. I saved up for his, his birthday and I flew out. I flew out to see him. And I could tell you something about his smell when I met him. Anyway, it turns out later, and then the following morning, I'm stroking his arm, and suddenly I'm just like, hey, hey, just have a minute, I'll do it. He flipped. Like he's flipped with all of these episodes. And I want to be specific now, because you're his only friend here. Yeah. You're his only friend, Alessandro. Yep. And what I want to say to you is there's a lot of people Nick is pissing off because of the, his public behavior. Don't get up with somebody. Let me just picture about them on Instagram because I need validation of my 12,000 followers that I've got. Because yeah. I'm sure that I lost my 500,000. And, and, you know, he goes, nobody's talking about my films. Nobody just, nobody gives me feedback. You don't even give me feedback. No, I And I'm just like, am I going out with a boy or a man? Yeah. But he later, I said, where did you, I, I was going back to his birthday. I've flown hundreds and thousands of miles to be with him. And I want you to listen to this carefully, Alessandro. How do you think I felt then when I didn't stroke his arm properly, he stormed off into the bathroom because he's thinking about this Matherin girl because obviously he's told you I've met this hot uh, Hungarian uh, dancer and she was the hottest girl in the room and I've got so much heart for her. How did your wife think when you read that? Oh, no. Well, uh, she would divorce me. Uh, that's the thing of course listen when that happened I, I I wasn't happy about it of course it's not my place to to scold him but I actually what I advise him yeah well I don't know much details but what I did remember saying is that if he was to split with you he should take some time for himself because that's in my opinion one shouldn't be jumping from things like that you know we're not 15 years old anymore and he has his daughter to take care, take care of a priority so in my opinion he w he wasn't doing the right choice then thank you by the way i've just vomited on you alessandro but I'm, I'm i'm gonna have to do this and put my foot down because nick is dangerous i am leaving now when i go to the toilet because he's he's a tyrant and he's threatening me and i can't take it anymore he's sworn at my parents said the most vital things I've got everything as proof and you know I have gone mad I've hit myself because he won't stop seven hours I had to deal with his torment on, on the birthday to the point where I was can you just stop now I'm sorry I'm sorry I didn't stroke your arm but that was an excuse because he knows that he triggered me and there was a, a plastic Evian water bottle and I just said what do you want me to do and I threw it on the floor that's it I'm going and he left and he didn't come back mm. that night he liked me said that he spent the um he's, he's spending the day with he's back at bishops but then god was on my side because i saw the <coughs> conversation from mandarin he's calling me a narcissist doing all oh, and she's like oh my god well i'm so glad that you spent the night with me and well how do you think i would have felt 
Yeah, no. Absolutely. No, listen, it, 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 I understand why the, the relationship has devolved into this. I, I do think that once certain uh, boundaries in, in, you know, engagements like violence is, is something that for me is inconceivable. It has never happened between me and my wife. And uh, you don't know half of the story of, of, of what happened with my wife, but she was a, a victim of an illegal ring here in, in Portugal that I'm actually about to make a post about because they tried to mess with her yesterday. So, you know, uh, it's yeah. life is very complicated. Shit happens. Yeah. And I think that, yes, I, uh, I think that Nick, uh, he has a, a heart of gold when he is on, on, the, on the high end. Uh, when he is on the low, he can be a bit mean, a bit, a bit rough around the edges, uh, as I've witnessed myself. Um, nevertheless... I know that. You know, I know one, one moment that you're talking about, because I tried to put that right for him. Yeah? Yes. That's about mine and Nick's things and it stays between you guys. I get that couples do for, you know, and all he was doing was being an arsehole to me, calling me cunt this, that, the other before, that I just hugged my cousin and felt bad for him and I just said, Nick, put our problems aside. Nick walks out. Nick just disappears and just lies and says I'm going to the loo. Anyway, I, afterwards, the things he was saying to me in the car, <coughs> I pulled his head while he was driving. Right. You can't say that to me, you fucking asshole. Why? Because I had three glasses of wine at take on at lunch over on an hours and hours and hours of abuse in the morning because he was too busy doing bombs with Bishop and his mum, uh, Gab, sorry, and yeah. we, were, uh, we, we had confirmed a, a live show with other people and he couldn't be bothered to do it. And then we only had five minutes to get everything ready and then that's when he explodes. So he's left me in a hotel room just because I've gone to in and out burger and eaten myself, albeit got the food, but me thinking from the kindness of my heart that um, I'll let him sleep because he's tired. He's on steroids, he has fucking sex dolls, he does prostitutes. How do you think I feel when he tells me I hired a prostitute and I had I, all I could do was massage her? Yeah, no, I mean, those those things are a deal breaker. It would be a deal breaker for me. It would be a deal breaker for my wife. That's, that's uh, I think, the jury is out on that one. Go at me, of going on Sasha's show, show, a man that I haven't met, you're an investigator, you're going to investigate me, which find nothing on me, Alessandro. He takes screenshots of me, which I'm without my permission, and then he sends them to me, and then he says that I'm going to send these to Sasha. I'm sorry, uh, Alpa, I'm sorry, because I, I need to reply to my wife, but I'm listening to you. I'm no, listening no, no, to you. Okay, don't worry. Yes. Don't worry. And look, you know, if you, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this to you, even that you may tell Nick that I found you, I'm not scared anymore. No, no, no. I mean, listen, what what I think is, and, and that this is something that, you know, is, is for the betterment of you both. I, I think that perhaps, obviously, as you tell me things, if you really think these things about Nick, it's obviously, you know, at this point, it seems to erode more and more. It seems to be more toxic and toxic. And I'm not saying you are the devil or Nick is the devil, because I don't know what happens behind closed doors, Alpa. And I'm not here to make a judgment. I'm very careful with that. Obviously, my loyalties lie with Nick for obvious reasons. I don't think Nick is gonna. I mean, Nick obviously is, is pissed about Sasha. He doesn't know nothing about what uh, uh, the evidence that that is out there on Sasha because he hasn't taken the time to look at at, at the podcast I did about it. But regardless of that, he's not gonna come after you all. But that's not what this is about. Uh, I'm not gonna come after you. Nobody's gonna come after you. Uh, what I think is that perhaps. It's best for you to, for you guys to take some time, because it, it, it's not working. What he was threatening me with, this is where I need your help, because this is where he doesn't realize when my father got diagnosed with cancer, uh -huh. he decided to go out with a prostitute. Okay, right. right. And, and I, so I couldn't lean on him for any of that. So look, I don't hate me. I love him, and I'm the one who has seen that, you know, um, he's, he's suffering a lot. He's, he's impaired his relationship because he's called every friend 
every woman, a, kind, a whore, a slut, a slag, his mum, everybody. Then none of them hate him because of Trump. He didn't get sacked because of Trump. He traumatized a woman there. The way he's traumatized me, the way he traumatized Erica in front of me. Because when he doesn't get his way, he explodes and he thinks it's okay to just call you every single name under his thumb. He can be very kind, very generous. But there's another side of the coin that, yes, uh, I can understand to some degree. And for Nick, it will come. I'll be a bit late, but it will come. And, and, and I will do my best to try to help him. Now, regardless of, of all that, of course, I will advise against going after you in any shape or form. Because... Yeah, That's too petty. That's something that, me, listen, not even, you could argue, I, I would advise against it. The whole thing on basic that principle is wrong. My naked pictures online. Oh, but, but that's that's different. That's criminal. Now, that's, if you have evidence about him threatening you with that, I suggest you keep it. Because if that happens, then you have the evidence, right? Yes. Okay, so... I understand, but then, then what you need to do is is cut uh, entire communication. Listen, I do think that the threats of 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 posting illegal porn of you because that's what it is. It's illegal porn. There's no other definition under the book. It's prosecutable by law. Uh, it's it's a bluff. It's something say setting a spite because obviously that will that will suicide his it, that will nuke his his reputation. It, that would destroy everything. So even outside of the honor boundaries which is something that he, he should abide to and I, and I hope he will mainly because of that reason I don't think that's going to happen Alpha. Don't you remember when he goes hey by the way I'm not going out I'm not getting married to Alpha Stoney don't you remember when he did that because she hit me right yeah yes this guy's capable he will chuck you in a flash pan he's chucked Zane because Zane is mortified that he's doing this publicly mm. because I've locked Zane too Okay. This is a pathological narcissist, and that's why I'm saying to you, you play it carefully. This is your bread and butter. That time when he was having a go at you because of something and because of, I had to coach him to have to be a good leader and a boss, right? Like, yes. He's not boss. Yes. Alpa, I mean, I'm terribly sorry. I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is not good, and it's not something that I really like to know about my friend Nick because I expect better things of him. Now, regardless of what happened between him and I, it was just, uh, you know, uh, simple things of work. But yes, I do think that uh, sometimes he has lacked uh, a bit of tact as far as being a leader. Uh, that's not something that, that, you, that you are born with. It's something that you need to learn and it's very hard to learn. That's why I wrote that. And now I, 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 I say, look, a guy who's doing a really good job on Telegram, you know, you need to kind of praise as well. Like, just Guide him, like he sat the other girl Monica. She did the no, she did the um, she did put good lion TV, she did the bitly uh, link because he wanted her to set up affiliates. Uh -huh. So she did the affiliate, and then he kept getting frustrated with her. And then I said, Nick, we can never win with you. You can't like she did this rate, just sack us all. He said, Monica, after promising her, um, you know, um, to do all the support and everything, and she was after a month off, she was coming back. In she had a job and within the second day the day before he said right we're going to give you this we're going to give you that and she was like oh, I'm so happy to a fight between him and me he sacked her Oof. well that's uh, right? that's unfortunate and, yes. then, and then he has the audacity to tell me that I wanted to leave you because you tried to kill yourself he was calling me these horrible names and I was walking past the bridge and I went to God I said you have hurt me to a point where I feel like dying 